Okay, so I thought I'd just do a quick video because we've all seen that shock poll on YouGov that shows the Tories back on 45%. And it's caused a lot of consternation. People are going, this, this, this doesn't reflect the mood online yoga. Are these are people reading the columns of Marina Hyde. Now, as one of these selfish, stupid plebs that voted for this mob, I thought I'd just take the chance to break it down because I don't think it's as much of a surprise as some people seem to think. Firstly, Labour have not had a position on the two biggest existential crises facing this country, right? Their position on Brexit and COVID has been basically the same. On Brexit, it was, oh, the Tories are in a mess. Let's just sit this one out, see if they implode. But on COVID, it was, oh, the Tories are in a mess. Let's just sit this one out, see if they implode. And then they've somehow contrived to seem like they were against tax rises. I mean, in terms of... Uh, in terms of going off brand, that's a pretty big one, isn't it? You know, but almost be like neglecting your working class voter base. It's also a leadership thing, right? And it's a force of personality thing. People like to have something they can buy into. And Keir Starmer is a bit, eh, eh, he's all right. And you don't have to be working class or obviously left wing to lead the Labour Party, but it would sort of help if you were one or the other. And I, and I know some people say that Keir actually comes from strong working class stock. His dad was a tool maker, but the only thing that Keir looks like he makes is pasta from scratch. Now the Tories did also get Brexit done, and of course the deal may in time get proved to be wonky and full of holes, but the Liberal left suffered from making that seem too impossible. Oh, you'll never, you'll never open the withdrawal agreement. The EU never go back on their word, apart from all the times that they do. You will never get a deal within a year. Was that? They did what? All of which makes somebody as frequently shambolic as Boris Johnson seem like a fucking Avenger. Now, there is hope for Labour in the medium to long term, once the real economic effects of Covid kick in. By that point, the Tory cronyism will feel a lot different. I mean, at this point in time, Matt Hancock can say, well, you know, giving those contracts to my mates just felt right at the time, you know. But, you know, two years we'll have forgotten about that. We'll be skinned and all his mates will have jet skis.